Hi, I'm Chris from Watson. And I'm also Chris, also from Watson. And today we're going to show you how to build a pretty simple Watson chatbot that can actually book some flights for you. So we're going to actually use Watson uh, through Twitter. So you want to book a flight. You're very keen on this idea. Of I am. A I want to go on holiday. It you is the summer. You want to get out of here, don't I, you? I, I, right. Yes. Okay. So, let's, uh, so we're going to have to create a new conversation. So uh, we do that just by pressing on that little plus button there. And I'm going to now uh, put in the uh, correct intent for booking a flight. So this is pre-trained, uh, just to save time on the video. Uh, but uh, it didn't, took me just uh, about two or three minutes just to put in the right intents for booking a flight. OK, so, uh, so you say you want to book a flight. What am I going to do next, do you think? I'm going to ask you a question. Where do you, you want to go? Yeah, you ask me where I want to go. So. OK. So let's do that first, right? Where do you want to go? So that, that's got that's got our uh, our conversation started, right? Where do yep. you want to go? Then I'm going to put in. You're so going to respond. put in my um, airport name or yeah. you know city. In fact, uh, yeah. So let's uh, let, let's let's just make that work now. So so the next thing we're expecting is an airport. Yeah. So I can just say threat at airport. That means any airport. That, that you type in that I know about, I'm going to accept that as an airport. And that's my entities, is it? Uh, yeah, those are entities, absolutely. Yeah, so we defined our list of airports, a bit of reference data. We could have imported those or typed them in or, or get, them, get them from a database or whatever. So, so we've got our entities there ready to go uh, with airports. So what I'm going to do now, uh, just to save a little bit of, uh, of typing time, because I'm not very, uh, very quick on the old typing, I'm just going to uh, paste in what we need to put in here, because uh, we want to do two things when you respond here. We, yep. we want to respond and, and, and give you, uh, ask you the next question in the sequence so that we can build up the information we need to book you your flight. But we also need to remember what you've chosen as your airport that, where you want to go to. Yeah, yeah. Go so have my context, uh, okay. Yeah, it's all about context, right? As we go through the conversation, we're building up context to help us uh, to take action on behalf of the user. So I'm going to do a bit of cut and pasting here. I'm just going to set this onto advanced mode, which allows me to type in a slightly more uh, complex, uh, complex set of instructions than just respond. And I have uh, in my notes here what I want to paste in, so I'm just going to grab that. And just a few lines of code then. It's just a really tiny little bit of code, very straightforward. Okay, and uh, straight away it's validated that syntax. The box has gone, uh, has stopped being read. Uh, and I'm good to go. So that's, uh, and you can see in there the text of the of, of the next question, which is going to be, where do you want to fly from? Yeah. So uh, I'm going to put another one on now. Fly, where do I want to fly from? That's another airport, so I can use the same entity matching for that. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to do a little, another little bit of cutting and pasting just to uh, just to speed things up a little bit here. Again, I'm going to go into advanced mode, and I'm just remove what's there and paste in my response. Okay. So that's good. So uh, where am I going to fly from? Where am I going to fly to? So I now know where I'm going dates, from okay. to. Dates, the only two other bits of information oh, yeah. I need for this is the dates. Okay, right. I need to know when, when are you going to leave. So, uh, so again, I've got my entities. Let's just clear this out of the way. Make a little bit clearer what's going on. So I've got my entities that I can work with. If you remember, we had a special entity for dealing with dates that was called uh, valid date captured. So I'm just going to uh, put that in there. And uh, now I'm going to uh, do another little cut and paste, to, again, to remember the date that you've typed in. OK. And that has the Watson response in it as well, does it? It has the Watson response. So uh, what we'll see in here now oh, yeah. is uh, when do you want to come when back. Do you gotcha. want to come back? So that's going to go in. Uh, oh, no, I need to be in advance, don't I, to do that. There we go. Just uh, paste that in. And there we go. And now there's only one more step. I've got to just capture another date, of course, which is the date when you want to come back, because we're doing a, a return flight here. Yeah, so I want to be on holiday forever. You don't want to be on holiday forever. We've got, you, lots you, to do. we've got lots to do, absolutely. So let's, uh, let's just get that in there. Where are we with uh, another quick cut and paste job? Get into advanced mode, take that out. Quick cut and paste so we can again so we can remember the context. We're almost there. 
we're almost at the point where you're going so, to be able to book a flight. But does Watson know about flights? So Watson doesn't know about flights, actually how to book the flights. So we're using Watson to collect the information, and then we're going to use a service that's already been built for booking flights. We're going to use the Skyscanner service. OK, yeah, that okay. makes sense. Okay. So this you is can one connect of the to an, any external API. Stuff. Exactly. This is one of the real powers of Watson, is that we can connect out to other APIs. We can connect out to APIs that are, that are providing services and providing answers uh, all naturally as part of our conversation flow. So we've got, we've got everything we need there now. In fact, this could be ready for you to give it a try, I think. Do you want me to give it a try? OK. Yeah, give it a try. So previously, we didn't understand how to book a flight. So uh, as you see there, it says, I want to book a flight. Let's give it a go now. Let's have a look at the uh, dialogue that we just built. So I want to book a flight. So Watson should come back and ask me where well, to, I'm right? Okay. Let's see. Where do I want to go to? OK. Uh, I'd like to go to Paris. You want to go to Paris? Yeah. Nice time here. It's Bastille Day, after all, so probably should go there. And uh, well, London's fine for me. It's nearby. And then I've just got to, I guess, capture my date. So uh, actually, uh, let's book a flight for after summer because I am actually going holiday tomorrow. So first yeah. September, and I'll maybe come back maybe three or four days later. So let's go back. Let's go on the fourth of September. Good choice. Okay. So Watson's um, captured my, my dates now, at least I think it has. Um, then it's what, going to go out to the external? It's going to go out to Skyscanner. OK. It'll take a few seconds to do this, because uh, Skyscanner is a, is a service that goes out and looks for cheap flights on lots of different websites. So it takes, yeah. takes a few seconds for it yeah, to, when to I put type results it in, together. They always poll, and they go, because they go through all the airlines, don't they? So. That's right, yeah. So. Uh, so now we should maybe tell some more jokes. Ah, it's back. It's back. What's it say? It's found a direct flight on BA for £81, the BA314. Those are the right dates. Yeah, 1st September, Heathrow, Charles de Gaulle, Charles de Gaulle, Heathrow, back on the 4th. Brilliant. So I don't know how long that took, but I don't think it took very long. And we've choreographed a conversation in a Watson chatbot, called out Skyscanner, and that's actually pretty useful. Pretty I, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, and we could we could add in some extra validation to make sure that you know you, your return date was after your going out date. That's all very easy to do in here, but but we've got the basics there pretty quickly. Well, then that was it. That was from Chris and Chris on how to build a Watson chatbot.